Nitinanda TV News. Bhagavad Gita Satsang, Chapter 6, Verse Number 10 with Paramahamsa Nitinanda. The 13th Inner Awakening with N Genius for Kids continues day number 19. NSP program from Theravanamalai offered on internet two-way connection. Los Angeles Arunachala booth at Bhakti Fest. Toronto Kailasam schedule update. The next Inner Awakening is October 7th with N Genius alongside D Samyama. Nityanandam and welcome to Nityananda TV News for Saturday, September 8, 2012, the year of meditation and cosmic partying, the kind that doesn't do damage to our bodies. Now for today's top stories. <laughs> morning satsang with living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda. This morning, during the most watched live internet daily spiritual program on the planet, 1,134 places plus more on YouTube, with 54 two-way connections from 261 cities in 29 countries, joined with Nityananda TV this morning for 180 minutes of pure bliss with rare living enlightened master Paramahamsa Nityananda. This morning, Swamiji spoke on Bhagavad Gita chapter 6 verse number 10. When the identity is touched, it creates many thoughts. Thoughts are food. Identity is person who eats. You are a sadhu only if you are able to touch another's feet. Who is your enemy? Take this as Guru Vak, the ability to drop the identity. Ability to lay your identity in front of anyone is quality of sadhu. Whatever you understand as reality, the dimensions like a size, shape, quality, your association of good and bad with it, all that, even one quality does not exist in objective reality. Please understand. If you think this is wall, this is not wall. Whatever you understand, why this wall, what this wall does, how it looks, what it is, who built, is it good for me, bad for me, all concepts you have about the wall is not there actually on the wall. So in a way I can say, there is no such thing as objective reality and there is something called objective reality. There is no such thing as objective reality. It's also true. There is objective reality. It's also true. Understand? I tell you there is no such thing as objective reality because anything you see, you perceive, does not exist as you perceive. And I tell you there is objective reality. Well, you know, because you may be liberated from this wall, but the other person who is not liberated will continue to see this wall as objective reality. Because of that, I tell objective reality exists. But I tell you, for you, objective reality does not exist. So, the right truth, objective reality does not exist for you, but the objective ex reality exists for the objects you see in objective reality. But, as the objective reality does not exist for you itself, how can the objects you see in the objective reality, subjective reality can be objective reality for you? <laughs> as the objective reality perceived by you itself is not reality, how can the objective reality perceived by the objects which you perceive in the objective reality can be objective reality for you? Listen to the statement again. <laughs> As the objective reality which you perceive itself is not an objective reality for you, then how can the objects you perceive in the objective reality 
can have the objective reality which you perceive as the objective reality which is not the objective reality. So, what you know as reality is nothing but the perversion of your fantasy. What you know as fantasy is nothing but the perversion of your reality. When you go beyond what you know as reality and fantasy, you see N reality, which is N reality. In enlightened reality, there is no space for fantasy, reality, reality-based fantasy, fantasy-based reality. Fantasy-based reality is deities, reality-based fantasy is theme parks. Reality-based reality is enlightened reality. Fantasy-based fantasy is your dreams. The reality-based reality awakens in you when you understand neither reality-based fantasies and fantasy-based realities and reality-reality does not lead you to reality. The reality-reality Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy reality, reality fantasy is all finally your reality fantasy leading you from fantasy reality to reality fantasy. Finally, only when you drop everything, the reality reality expresses itself beyond reality. Transcribe this whole statement, answers, and put it in the website. Let people read this statement again and again and internalize. You will understand. And the cognitive shift in you will happen which is ready to grasp reality. We'll go for the Nirahara Samyama. Your eating itself is fantasy. That is why your samyama is also fantasy. Your eating is fantasy reality. Your samyama is reality fantasy. Nityananda TV is now showing healing sessions for care and cure of such areas as memory, insomnia, depression, diabetes and more. Tune in immediately following morning satsang and news as well as at 9.50 p.m. India Standard Time that's 9.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or book your individual or group guidance session with a live internet connection for a specific time in Kriya. Email to nityakriya at gmail.com and search over 100 guaranteed healing techniques at nityananda.org slash nitya hyphen kriyas. Today, along with Swamiji, the third level Nirahara Samyama batch answered day number five of the third level. And these Samyama participants began day number 19 of liberation from harmful patterns associated with food. All participants have been successful with no hunger nor wanting food and all are healthy. Tonight, of course, is the first ever Akashic Readings webinar, 8 p.m. India Standard Time. Watch through nithinanda.tv or youtube.com slash TV live. The 13th Inner Awakening with Engineers for Kids continues day number 19. Participants continue to grow and experience higher dimensions of themselves while healing relationships and learning to align their actions with their intentions in daily life. Today is an early evening darshan, followed by the first ever webinar with Akashic Readings. Oh. 
Nityananda Sparanda program from Theravanamali offered on internet two-way connection. The second level death fear cleansing light bliss program from Theravanamali September 20th to 23rd will now be offered through a live two-way internet connection. See nityananda.org slash events for details. Los Angeles Arunachala booth at Bhakti Fest. Our booth at Bhakti Fest at Joshua Tree last night, when we had the two-way satsang, anyone who passed by the booth were mesmerized when they saw Swamiji. A few sat down to watch with us. Some even stayed for the whole three hours. Many people will go home high on bliss from the wonderful curtain performances, numerous yoga classes and workshops, blessed having met Swamiji, experienced his healing energy flowing through our hands, and with the knowledge that an enlightened master is easily accessible to them for truth, healing, transformation, and anything that they might want to add or to change in their lives. It's a privilege to do Swamiji's work, and we're grateful for this opportunity and the many other opportunities he provides for our own growth. Toronto Kailasham Temple Schedule Update Fridays at 7 p.m. is Manakshi Puja. Every Sunday, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. is Nvidyalaya for children aged 4 to 16 years. Every Tuesday and Thursday, 6.05 p.m. to 7 p.m. free meditation classes. Every day at 7.15 p.m. Anadan free food sharing. 8 p.m. free meditation class. 9.30 p.m. Guru Pada Puja and Bhagavad Gita Jnana Satsang. Nitya Yoga classes are at 1960 Ellesmere Road, number 10, every Friday at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., summer special, five classes for $30, or a single class for $8, and at Bohemian Palace, 240 Roncesvalles Avenue, every Saturday, 10.15 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. Workshops coming up are September 4th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., Diabetes and Kriya, at Arigo Bo Bookstore. September 9th, Full Day Workshop, Diabetes and Korea at Nithinana Vedic Temple. September 9th, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., Diabetes and Korea at Selva Sanati Murugan Temple. September 15th, 10 to 11 a.m., Diabetes and Korea at Nithinana Vedic Temple. September 22nd, Full Day, Losing Weight the Vedic Way at Nithinana Vedic Temple. October 2nd, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., Losing Weight the Vedic Way at Arigo Bookstore. October 6th and 7th, Full Day Workshop, Life Bliss Program Level 1 at Nithyananda Vedic Temple. Email info at nithyananda.ca or call 416-439-2089 for more information. The next Inner Awakening is October 7th with N Genius and alongside the Samima. Go to innerawakening.org and nityananda.org slash events for details and contact information. That's all from Nityananda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. You are a sadhu only if you are able to touch another's feet who is your enemy. We'll see you next time on Nityananda TV News. Nityanandam!